dear students so i don't have uh, enough time to uh, explain the two assignments especially the 11th and 12th week assignment so now i am going to explain the 12th week assignment So, in this 12th week, we are mainly focusing on 8086. 8086 means it is a 16-bit microprocessor. So, first two, four weeks, we have seen about 8085, 8-bit microprocessor. And fifth week to eighth week, we have seen about 8051. That is 8-bit microcontroller. And 12th week, 8086, it's nothing but a 16-bit microprocessor. So, 16-bit microprocessor, na, data bus length will be 16-bit. And address line is 20. So, 16-bit uh, is our data bus and 20-bit address lines. So, 2 power 20, that is 1 megabyte. Okay. So, here, how they are calculating the address. So, while we are seeing into this particular picture, uh, we may see that uh, how uh, we have to calculate the address now. Segment address and offset address will be given. Okay. So, segment address is 89AB. And offset address is F012. So, what we have to do? We have to multiply the segment address into 10. So, what is my value? 89AB0. Into 10, I have to multiply. So, 0 only will be added. Then I have to add with my offset address. That is what? F012. So if I add this to, I will get my memory address. Okay. That is physical address of the 8086. So this, this calculation is very important. Segment address into 10 plus offset address. Okay. So before uh, going into that, we will see about the architecture of 8086. So, in this 8086 only, they developed one thing. What is that now? We already seen about uh, parallel pipeline architecture. Fetch, decode, execute. This three stages pipeline is executed firstly in this 8086 architecture. So, fetch, decode, execution. Parallel operation. Okay, this pipeline operation, the parallel operation we have studied that we have implemented in this 8086. So, 8086 having two units. One is execution unit. And the next one is bus interface unit. So, execution unit consisting of all the general purpose registers, ALU, arithmetic logical unit, temporary registers and flag register. We have seen that uh, five flags we have seen in the uh, 8085 as well as 8051. Okay, so what is the purpose of flag register? Depending on the arithmetic content, the flag register content will get altered. So that is flag register and uh, internal control system. The coordinate, the entire processor, we need a one control system. And this particular one is bus interface unit. Bus interface unit purposes fetch the instruction, read the data from memory or IO port or write the data to the memory all this will operation will be calculated in the bus interface unit. So here uh, we have seen how the uh, 60, uh, that is 20 bit data will be generated. This address generation, this address generation only we have seen in the uh, previous, uh, that is segment address into 10 plus offset address will gives the address generation. Okay, so these are all about the registers. And these are all about the memory segmentation. So code memory separately, data memory separately, stack segment separately, all this, my, the 8086 is pioneer for this to create the program memory and data memory separately. This 8086 is the pioneer. And bus control logic is there. What is the bus use of bus control logic? Now, we will operate the 8086 in two modes. One is minimum mode and another one is maximum mode. So, all the equations will be put up in the queue. So, there are six queues are there. So, execution unit will 
uh, already fetch the data and it will execute and bus interface unit will do all the kind of memory uh, um, that is read operation, write operation and all. So while we are being seen that, So we have to understand what is a read operation. Okay, if my processor, my microprocessor reads any data from the memory or IO port, whatever may be read, okay, memory to microprocessor or IO to microprocessor is read operation. Right now, reverse process. Reverse process now, I want to write any data to from microprocessor to memory or I.O. port. That is write. So read and write operation is one of the thing. So here we all have a memory slash I.O. bar. This particular pin, you have to understand that it is a M na stands for memory. M stands for memory. And I.O. stands for per input output. If it is one na, it will do memory operation. If this logic is equal to zero now, it will do I.O. operation. Why? Because now, whenever this bar always denotes it's an active low signal. If the bar is not there, it is active high signal. That means one means it will do memory operation. Zero means it will do I.O. operation. That you have to remember. So now, we will go with the registers. I think here AX, 16-bit uh, accumulator. And in that AX, we have a two things, AL and AH. So it is a 16-bit microprocessor. I told that 16-bit microprocessor, now definitely I will have uh, accumulator length also 16-bit. So AX having AL and AH. BX is nothing but base register. This is also BL and BH. And uh, CX is nothing but count register. This is also having CL and CH. Um, all the count will be put up in the CL and CH register. And one more thing is DX. DX is nothing but data register, DL and DH. Then pointer register or stack pointer and base pointer. Okay, stack pointer always indicates the memory. Index register, we have source index register and destination index register. And instruction pointer, we have one instruction pointer. And PSW is nothing but flag register. And four segments are there. I already mentioned. This is code segment, data segment, start segment, extra segment. So four segments. So totally one MB now. Each segment capacity is 64 KB. And this is the pin details of 8086. So 8086 also we have a 40 pins. Okay, so this is one supply pin and this is a ground uh, ground pin. 1 and 20 will be the ground pin. And here also we will multiplex AD02, AD16. So uh, we have 16 by a bit data bus. So 16 bit uh, data bus and we all know that uh, 20 bit address bus is there. So it is multiplexed. The multiplexed in a AD02, AD15. So the remaining A16, A17, a18 and uh, A19 are there. So this will be always multiplexing. So here we have uh, two modes, minimum mode and maximum mode. This, this particular 33 pin is responsible for minimum and maximum mode. M and slash MX bar. Actually, when you see that, M and slash MX bar. So we all know that M and is active high signal because no bar signal is there. But MX bar means it is a Nothing but it's a active low signal. So if it is one na, it will operate in what mode? Minimum mode. If it is zero na, it will operate in what mode? Maximum mode. So when you see to that, uh, we have a uh, thing that uh, this particular eight pins will works on the uh, minimum mode of operation. Minimum mode of operation, uh, it will connect it to one. One means what? It's a logic high. Okay, zero means logic low. So we have data transmit, data receive. 
So data transmit now, we have to understand that it's nothing but a, um, we are sending the data to the memory or uh, IO port and all. So it is equivalent to that uh, right operation. Data received now, you have to understand that I am receiving the data to the processor. So it is nothing but a equivalent to read operation. So that is received by data tra transceiver. Okay, it will do both transmission and receiving. Data enabled then. Address latch enabled. We always know that if I want to demultiplex, we have to go with address latch. M slash IO bar. Told. Memory slash IO bar. So M na automatically access the memory. IO bar it is low only. Write control signals and interrupt acknowledgement signal. Okay. So... That's why I told minimum and maximum mode. This is maximum mode of signal. So mainly when you go with that uh, particular pin, we have uh, uh, eight uh, signals, which is uh, 32, uh, totally 40 pins. 32 pins have common functions, eight pins for minimum mode and eight pins for maximum mode. So especially from this uh, 24 to 31, this is already while we are seeing on this, uh, particularly this 8 pin serves for minimum mode of operation and this 8 pins will serve for maximum mode of operation. So here uh, bus request and bus brand. What is minimum mode? What is maximum mode now? Minimum mode it will work as a single processor. Uh, maximum mode now it will act as a multi-processor mode. So, so for example I want to connect one mathematical co-processor now that is possible in the maximum mode signal. Okay, in that uh, bus request, bus grant, and uh, log signal. Uh, so mainly when you see that it is prevent other bus masters from gaining the control of system, system bus. Because uh, to uh, if other processor came, uh, this log signal indicates that it have been uh, um, uh, busy with the other processor. So it will prevent that bus masters for being, uh, it want to get the control of the system bus. What are the system bus now? Address bus, data bus, uh, read and write signal all will come under the system bus that we use to say control bus okay and these are the 12 addressing mode this is one of the very important slide uh, register addressing mode now moving from one register to another register we all know dh is nothing but a 8-bit register uh, because we have seen that there are four registers are there ax is nothing but al plus ah BX is nothing but BL plus BH. Similarly, uh, CH is uh, nothing but CL plus CH. So this one, this is only uh, this 8-bit register can be, uh, sorry, 16-bit register can be used as a 2-8-bit register. So you have to understand that I can move my 8-bit register to 8-bit. That is nothing but register addressing mode. Or I can put move AX comma BX. That means I can move my 16-bit to 16-bit. Immediate addressing mode. Immediate addressing mode. Now here I will specify the address. Okay. Square bracket. Square bracket always indicates the um, memory address. While we are seeing that the square bracket, I have to go to the 1354 location and I have to find out the data and that I have to move to the BX register. Register indirect addressing. Here we have specified the, the square bracket of BX. So from the VX and then we have to collect the um, offset address, then we have to calculate the memory address. So that's why it is called as an indirect addressing. Based indirect, now I have to add one value of register that is based index, based addressing. Indexed registering now, uh, two index register are there, SI and SI means um, source index register, DI means destination index register. That will be added and that content will be moved. Base the index register addressing mode. In sense, while we are seeing, I think almost this is the same thing. So, I will tell you that based index reg uh, register addressing mode. String, string type of addressing mode. I want to move any string data and all. We will use direct IO port addressing mode. Actually, uh, in this, Indexed addressing mode, SI alone will come. Okay. 
இம்ப்ளைடிங் <laughs> Uh, operand will be there clsc clsc means it's nothing but a clear the carry okay then there are uh, flag registers are the five flags already seen sign flag zero flag parity carry and all overflow flag uh, mainly depending on that uh, we have seen that signed operation in case uh, the eighth bit that is msb bit will act as an uh, signed bit okay and in 16th bit that 16th bit will act as an so at that time this overflow will indicate mainly for the signed operation direction flow for mainly string uh, manipulated instruction this direction flow is used whether i have to do for, go for auto incrementing mode or auto decrementing mode and all tarp flag uh, whether it is has been single step execution mode this tarp flag is used interrupt flag interrupt flag is mainly to recognize the external mask interrupt the interrupt flag is that okay 8086 and 8088 that both are different processor that you have to understand okay it is 8 bit uh, address bus and this is 20 bit address bus and uh, we have a uh, um, similar in uh, execution and instruction set but dissimilar in bus interface unit so both are been different processor 8087 it is the math co processor or numeric data processor mainly to work in parallel with 8086 in the maximum mode okay so it is mainly used for flow at uh, follow i triple uh, floating point standard and it is mainly used to multiply 264 bit uh, uh, real number okay uh, it can operate on data type of integer decimal and real type real types with the lengths from 2 to 10 bytes uh, 10 bytes na 2 to 10 bytes na you imagine 2 byte means it is around 16 bit 10 byte means around 80 bits so that kind of operation will be done by the 8086 okay and now i will go for the week 12 assignment so in this week 12 assignment the register bx is formed by the register v bx is formed by grouping we all know that a this ah and al for ax bh and B, uh, bl for bx ch and cl for cx dh and dl for dx okay so that is the one which uh, instruction do not affect the flag not only this uh, particular 8086 data transfer is the only instruction which do not affect the carry uh, affect the flags uh, uh, so 
for any of the processor this is because arithmetic i will do add addition and all so data transfer is the only thing we will move the data okay so uh, or we will we used to say that copy the data so that will not affect the flags the action performed by the following uh, instruction of 8086 so uh, this you have to understand that my ax content is moved this square bracket always indicates the memory allocation so we have to understand that move the content of address ax2 this uh, ax2 we all know that the syntax of move move means what uh, we have to know that destination uh, source register, comma, source register, sorry, destination register, comma, source register. So I have to move from source to register. So AX2, 4, 5, 6, 3, that is. So while I'm moving, while I'm moving, you have to understand that I have to move the content of register AX2 memory offset, 4, 5, 6, 3. So if you see here, uh, B and C is also similar to that, but we have we have been always seen to that the square bracket indicates the memory uh, location. But here, while we are seeing that my physical address will be calculated by that segment address into ten plus offset address. So this square bracket always indicate the memory offset. Memory offset AX to this one. Then what is the address space of 8086? Address space now, we have to know that 2 power 20, that is nothing but 1 megabyte. 2 power 20, that is nothing but a 1 megabyte. Which microprocessor accept the program written for 8086 without any changes? Uh, actually, while we are being seeing that uh, 80, we all know that while we are seeing the difference between 8086 and 80, only the bus interface unit will be same, uh, different, but execution unit will be same. So 8088 uh, will accept the program written without any changes. In 8086, uh, this is the calculation, don't forget, segment address is 1BC2. And instruction pointer address is 1F21. So 1B C20 1F21. I have to multiply the segment address into 10. Okay. 2C. 2C0. 1B. Actually, I will write it. 1B 2C0 1F21. So, while adding 1, we all know that 12 plus 2, 14, that is nothing but E. Okay. Then, while again, I am multiplying F plus 2. Uh, so, definitely, while we are been doing, a carry will be generated. Once again, if I add, uh, again, the value will become D, then 1. Okay. This is the value. So, if you are being not quite comfortable with this, Convert this value into binary and do the addition. Okay, so this is this is one of the very important uh, question. Push AX. Actually, I will explain this program. Uh, we all know that uh, what push register will what push. Uh, push will do and what pop will do. Okay. So push means it will push the content into the stack pointer. Pop means it will retrieve the content from the stack pointer. Okay. And we all know that uh, push will do decrement and pop will do increment. Okay. Push AX. So automatically my 2021 is popped. Actually, it will store 8 bit. Then uh, 4, 5, 5, 6 is also will be done. Okay. So, um, once again.
while seeing onto this, you can understand that. So you can see that this push will decrement the stack pointer by 2 and pop will add the stack pointer by 2. So while moving on to that, okay, push means push the content into the stack pointer. Push BX now again, it will, it will decrement and it will store. So I think I will explain you. Consider my address, it's showing the value of Four two uh, three nine. Okay, it will decrement now automatically. We all know that it will decrement by two. Four two three seven. Um, four two decrement by two. Okay, so four two three six. So it will store two one and two zero. Again, here what I have to do again it will push bx again it will decrement. So, 4, 2, uh, 3, 5, 4, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, 5, 6 and 4, 5 will be stored. This is my BX value and this is my AX value. Okay. Pop. Pop AX. Okay. Pop AX now. We have to know that uh, that pop AX will get us, that it will increment the stack pointer value by 2. So this 4, 5 and 5, 6 will be moved to my AX register. Okay. And pop DX, again it will increment. So this value will move to DX. So you have to understand that my DX will get what value? Pop AX na, my BX value is moved to AX. Pop DX na, my AX value is moved to DX. So you all understand this addition and all you leave it. That's separate. Arithmetic logical will come. So my DX value answer will be what? 2021. What is the addressing mode of the following instruction? Okay, it is immediate. 0, A, 9, F. Now I have to move my this value to AX. Square bracket denotes only memory offset. All otherwise, it's a data only. In 8087, which of the following is false? 8087 is working in parallel with 8086. Yes, true. 8087 is designed for floating point mathematical calculation. Yes, true. 8087 is numerical data number. Yes, it's true. Sorry. 8086 work is in parallel with 8086 in maximum mode. Floating point and it can multiply to 128 by actually all this are the true but uh, multiplying 64 bit a real number is possible. Not 128 bit. That's a only false statement. Which flag is in 8086 cleared by the STC instruction? Okay, it's carry flag. Okay, set the carry flag. STC na set the carry, carry flag. CLC na clear the carry flag. What is the function of MN slash MX pin in 8086 processor? Uh, we all know that MN na minimum mode, uh, MX na maximum mode. So mainly it is select the operating mode of the processor. Second point is false, not 8 bit or 16 bit not control the, uh, it enabled the microprocessor to perform mathematics. Once it put it in maximum mode only, so operating mode is the true answer. What is the, for, which of the following segment address used to hold the offset address of the current instruction? Offset address not code segment only. Okay. Intel 8086 is a 16-bit microprocessor. What is the purpose of DT slash or DT na data transmit? R na data receive. So you have to understand that data transmit na it's nothing but a write operation. Data receive na that is nothing but a read operation. So it is mainly used to control the timing of memory read and write. 
operation. The, four, uh, the C option is correct. Move DL comma BX. What addressing mode is used? So in this uh, square bracket, I have given the memory offset address. It's a direct addressing mode. But giving BX now, I have to find out in the indirect. I have to go for the effective address calculation indirectly. So that's why it is called as a uh, indirect addressing mode. So 